Imagine someone is diagnosed with cancer. Since it is the first stage in treatment is possible, he has a chance to fight the disease and survive. No one in the entire world would want to avoid treatment and keep on imagining that sub changasi. However, West Bengal is different. Its chief minister is different. Believe me, everything about the state is altogether different. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tanya, and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I will tell you about the dilapidated state of law and order situation in Bengal. Bengal police seems to have an extremely positive approach. For state police, there's no issue until few lives are claimed, until there is no bloodshed. Or maybe the state police doesn't consider the lives of Bengalis valuable and it is used to such violence. While the nation is in grief over the protest and violence occurring in major cities of multiple states, all is well for Mamata Banerjee's police. How? Let's find out. The nation is witnessing multiple protests. While many are injured, others are praying for the lives of their loved ones. After the several protests that turned into violence after Friday Namaz, the state of West Bengal witnessed yet another fresh violence following suspended BJP leader Nupur Sharma's remarks on Prophet Muhammad. The violence reportedly took place in Nakashi Para of Nadia on Monday, where shops were vandalized by the hooligans. Notably, violent protests in Bengal began from Havra on Friday and spread to several districts of the state, including Nadia, Murshidabad and South 24 Parganas by Monday. It forced police to suspend internet services. Such was the intensity that police had to resort to tear gas shells. Section 144 has been imposed in Nadia's Betua Dahari and Nakashipara and 25 people have been arrested only in Nakashipara. In connection with the violence, 200 people have been arrested and 42 FIRs have been registered. Additional Director General West Bengal Police Javed Shamim informed more than 200 people have been arrested and 42 FIRs have been registered. No one will be spared. Strict action will be taken against those involved and they will be booked. We will ensure maximum punishment. The above facts are enough to depict the gruesome situation of Bengal. Despite this, for Mamata's police, the situation is normal. Yes, this is what Additional Director General and Inspector General of Police Javed Shamim said. He stated, for the last 48 hours, the situation is totally normal in Havra. As of now, the internet services have been restored. Shamim added, there was no loss of life and injuries in that incident. All units have been instructed to deal with any emerging situation very strictly and very promptly ensure that no damage to property or any kind of violence takes place. I wonder if someone who is currently on a trip to Goa is chilling the way Shamim is. It must take special training on how to stay calm to give such a statement. Rather than informing the truth about the state and taking strict action against the hooligans, Shamim is here praising his department and telling everyone that sub changasi. While the recent violence over Nupur Sharma's statement is taking place in almost every state, it is nothing new for West Bengal. The polity of Bengal is full of bloodshed, vicious animosity and record political laws. CM Mamta Banerjee on a recent inhuman and barbaric case where eight people were burnt alive in Birbham has given a cold-hearted response and trivialized it as an ordinary unfortunate case. CM Mamta Banerjee has time and again brushed all political violence in Bengal under the carpet. The newly erupted violence is no different. It is pertinent to note that multiple incidents of stone pelting, protest and violence were witnessed in many Muslim-dominated areas of India. The violent Islamist mob created a ruckus near the Jama Masjid in Delhi. In Uttar Pradesh too, fanatic mobs in the garb of protest made an anarchic situation. Violent protests were also registered in West Bengal, Jharkhand in Maharashtra. In Ranchi, police had to open fire to control the mob frenzy in which two are reported dead. While the other states are leaving no stone unturned to manage the chaos in anarchy, here is Mamata's police claiming that all is well. 